one is the most adaptable to change. Here we go. Honestly, that's probably one of the nicest fade-ins I've ever had in the long dark. Full moon. This looks like, uh, yep, the sun's just coming up, so it's absolutely freezing out. Okay, so starting off up at Skeeter's Ridge. Not the best uh, start. And with the snowfall, it's kind of difficult to see. There's a hypothermia risk, already starting to freeze. Already starting to freeze. We got some. Yep, freezing. Yep, freezing. I can't give him the can, so we'll have to give him the stick. Okay. So I'm pretty sure once I go around this bend, I'm going to run into a wolf. Mostly because I've already seen the guy. He's out here. See how much damage I can take right off the hop. Ooh, look, a stick. I wish I had a rock. That would be helpful right now. Hey, look at rock. I don't know if I'm going to get through this one alive. They seem pretty determined to stand or at least walk where I am. There's two of them. Very difficult to see. Oh boy. They are really close. Okay, made it. I don't know if I'm going to be getting any, but, um, <clears throat> any sort of a warmth, uh, warm up while I'm down here. Oh, I am. Look at that. Okay, so we've got some peaches. And an empty shell. Hey, you pike, Harry. How are you now?
I just snuck in here past two bulbs. Oh, nothing there. See, maybe maybe something good's in the old washer dryer combo here. I could use this. You could use that. Oh, a book about sewing. You could also use that. Okay, so there's no toolbox here, like I was kind of hoping. Um, nothing really anywhere, but we do have a fancy new sweater. So let's put that. There we go. Okay, so um, I'll just let some some time pass <clears throat> and warm up here. Now it's nice and bright out at least, so I can see the wolves coming. Sounds like a blizzard. I wonder if I can make it down to the. Well, I bet. <clears throat> I bet you I can. I bet you I can. You can make it down to uh, the Draft Dodgers cabin without getting frostbite. At least we can try anyway. Yeah, it's a blizzard, so the chances of me running into a wolf out here are a little bit slimmed down. It didn't take long for him to start to freeze. Huh. Okay. To wizard time. We have ourselves the toolbox here. Usually there is something good in this box. Still eat this. I don't know if a class sardines is necessarily good, but it's something. Okay, let's get out of here. See what's going on down below. I don't know, I don't have the full on blizzard noise, but it seems blizzard like. I don't have that the howling wind, but uh, I can't see and it's absolutely freezing out, so it has that blizzard look and feel to it, just not the sound. Just grab a couple of these right off of that, just to make sure. Okay. soda so if, if he gets thirsty oh uh, we'll, we'll stop in here real quick get some warmth good good okay 
Okay. Might be some clothing in this drawer that I desperately need. Might be. And then again, might not be. Oh, there's some chocolate, though. I can't feel my hands. It's cold. All right. Quick nap again. <clears throat> Hopefully that warms him up a bit. Yeah, it sounds like it's getting worse outside, not better, as the time goes by. So, um, we definitely need some bandages. Hi, <laughs> exactly, he'd be dead already. I might have been able to make it for that, that cave, but yeah, I yeah I pretty much bet that he, exactly an outer loper just done. Okay, one more sleep. Oh, it actually warmed up in here. Hmm. I did not know that that the cabin would be subject to. The weather outside. That's kind of neat. All right. Let's. Do I have the soda now? Nah. He's thirsty, but it's just a short walk in the freezing cold blizzard. Kind of rough, actually. The old freezing cold blizzard, but. See, now there's that blizzard howl that I was talking about. So it's waited for, it's been ramping up to become a blizzard for a couple of hours now. Feels the foot when it touches the earth. Never felt so cold in my life. If I can get him to the farmhouse, he'll be fine, but uh, it's a hard haul. In a blizzard. I can use a drink. I could use a drink, he says. Yep. We do have a soda. There's plenty of toilet water where you're going, so. Trying to preserve a little bit of the poor guy's condition here. Just a little bit. The weather's been raging out like this since the morning, pretty much. So. What's up with that? Other than uh, it's trying to kill me, but it just looked weird. Sorry, guys. Still keep uh, we we'll get out of this weather here. Huh. Well, this is pretty awesome. I gotta say, we got more than 50%. I've got no frostbite yet. Uh, all in all, I'd have to say that's pretty good. No frostbite, more than half my life, and I'm about to stumble into Loot Haven. 
We'll see what we get here. There's no outside deer immediately available, which is sad. I like that deer there. It's a good place for a carcass, I tell you. Let's see what's going down down here in the basement here. Hopefully it lets me warm up while I'm in the basement. Yes, yes it does, okay. So we can upgrade our blue tools for red tools. Get our matches. right off the hop there. Let's see if there's a... Yep, there we go. Mag lens in the filing cabinet there. Let's see what we got here. Both locked? No, no, I can get into this one. And we've got a heavy hammer as our tool at the spot. I need something to drink. Soon. You got a pair of socks, so count your blessings. Count your blessings. Ooh, water purification tablets. Not the most useful uh, thing in the game, but uh, I mean, it helps. It helps. Where is my complimentary whetstone? Ah, there it is. Sometimes you get another pack of matches out of this uh, bank of drawers. This is a good random set, I found. You can find all sorts of weird stuff in here. Or sometimes you can find some all bunch of nothing. All bunch of nothing. Did I check those? Yes, I did. Okay, well, good. We've got this raggedy pair of socks to put on. I got a book about sewing and some stuff to sew. So let's get out of here, head upstairs. So I've got some matches and a mag lens. Not bad for like, for just one little area in this in this house. I like I like the farmhouse. If it was situated near some some ice fishing, like actually close enough to ice fishing to make it uh, worth your while, then I would I would stay here all the time. Okay. So, cool. so there's. I'm hoping to find a pry bar, either here or somewhere, maybe on the front porch. Okay, that's that's horrible. Gonna need, gonna need to eat soon. He is. Well, let's look for our complimentary thing of dog food right oh, there. Look at that. So, with the can opener that I'm gonna find here. I gotta say, for an interloper start, he's pretty well set up. Ah, here's the can opener. Perfect. Peaches. Okay, we can. Let's check the drawers in a bit. Um, just gonna want to scan around, see what I can find laying out and about. Oh, tinder plug. Always. Oh, Always welcome early in the game. Cooking pot, I will definitely snag that as well. Let's get some toilet water on the go, shall we? Almost two liters of toilet water. It's his lucky day. All right, well. We will have the soda. Give him some calories. And I don't want to drink all my toilet water all at once, you see, so. Okay, well, it sounds awful outside. Yeah. That's where most Canadians keep their toques, in the can. I mean, I'm happy I found it, but what a weird spot to find a hat. I guess somebody was in a real hurry. And there we have it. I don't even have to make the sing um, those. I can make the wraps and they'll be extra, you know? I can make some wraps for my head if I want to. So that is great. We got everything covered now. So he won't get frostbite at the very least. But 
right. Uh, well, that's pretty good. When it started off and it just faded in with the moon and, and I'd already lost one quarter of my heat, it was a really neat start. Oh, thank goodness. Sometimes you see a vest here, and that means absolutely you are not going to get the, uh, oh, there's a coffee on the desk. No way. So a vest downstairs, guys. A vest downstairs means no ski jacket upstairs. At least that's what I found. Looks like uh, no ski jacket upstairs anyway. So, no coat. Ooh, that's cold. All right, we'll totally wipe out this bathroom and then we'll start searching up here and then go downstairs. Uh, no water to take, how about take all the water? That sounds better. So far, not a lot of pharmaceuticals going on in this house. We've got no antibiotics or bandages or anything like that. Painkillers and antibiotics are very important. I guess I'll grab this book. Alright. Oh, this drawer too. T-shirt. A second wolf sweater. <laughs> okay, well I've got the two best shirts and the or the double layer of the best shirt you can get on Interloper, so that's pretty cool. Pretty happy about that. So I'll have to snag a little bit of cloth uh, today and fix those sweaters. Got a little bit of book to read in the morning. See, he's got enough food and water here to get through a day. So I can hang out here for a day. Alright, well. Pretty much. The upstairs was a bust for clothing. I got a sweater. Which is great, but I was really, really, you could tell I had my heart set on a ski jacket upstairs. Oh, maybe there's a Mackinac up the hill, huh? I guess there is that. Yeah, nothing in any of the first aid kits. Check that for you. Okay, here we go. I check there. We got some drawers. It's not as bad as the dam, I gotta give it that. But it is kind of a project searching through this place. So this is like the third set of tools that I have found since I've started the game. Yep. It won't go on there? What? Invalid. Anyway, let's check this kitchen out quick. Let me check to you, right? So I did the bathrooms first. Okay, checking the kitchen for the last can of food that hopefully is in here. Hopefully there's food. Maybe coffee. As he yawns. Maybe coffee. Nothing. Hey, tomato soup. Sweet. Pork and beans. That was okay. Actually, an extra 900 calories like that, I'll take that. So I got my, my can opener, I got my beans, I got a blizzard that's been raging all the live long day. <clears throat> Let me check the fridge and freezer, right? Okay. Perfect, perfect. All I can think about is food. I don't know 
all I can think about is food. Well, here, what do you think about dog food? I actually shouldn't be feeding him. I should actually just let him do the starvation thing for a little bit. Perfect. We'll fix these. This, sorry. If it lets me. Nice. Look at that, four degrees on the warmth. getting hungry he's getting hungry let's uh, head upstairs before it gets too dark and I can't see where I'm going then I've got to use a match which uh, let's not ever do that if you're on the stalker settings and you have cardboard matches and you don't know where you are go ahead fire one up you know fire one up but uh, See if I can fix these socks real quick. Not that it's really, there's a real point to it. There we are, new sports socks. So, I'm gonna tear that down. I'm gonna drop that because it takes forever. So yeah, let's we'll just get rid of that. The hoodie is a pain in the butt. Yeah, I can get a half a degree warmth out of this thing too. I wonder if. You get enough time. Nice. So what are we at here? Five degrees. Well, like a champ. That's how it's done. Okay, actually, let's stay focused on the bed. I will eat and then sleep. I don't have um, ready, ready uh, antibiotics to be tempting fate. That guy, one of these, I guess, just to make sure I get through the entire night. And some water. Okay, one, one day down in the world of Interloper. There goes the frostbite risk, which is nice, because frostbite is a horrible thing. <clears throat> All right. We'll see about crafting something. As fractured muffin cake there likes to call it, the relish, the relish tea. We'll pass time for an hour. Grab some meat real quick and then sleep. That's a lot of that's anything. a lot of wind going on out there. All right, buddy, you're gonna have to starve. This is not enough food to be catching the wolf head bonus. It's just not. So what do you think? Uh, should I run over to that barn? And grab the stem, or should I just run up to the, to the? Because I'm once I get to that signal tower, I am out of here. So, so what do you think, signal tower or barn? There's a stem at the barn, but there is a stem at the barn. So I don't know if you want to see signal tower or barn, but I mean the signal tower is nice because the loot I'm going to get is going to be fantastic. But uh, here, let's have a real quick look at my clothing, see if there's anything I can. It's worth me fixing. Uh, I guess the jeans I could get a almost half degree out of, just to let that sun come up a little bit more.
Here we go. New jeans. So, six degrees warmth bonus. I'm not even wearing a coat. All right, tear these curtains down. And then, hmm, I don't know. Do I run to the signal town? I think I think I should just keep on heading out. I think I should just keep going straight. Uh, get uh, not not do the side step to the barn. Best thing to do with the barn would be on the way back, on my way up to Timberwolf, grabbing a grabbing a stem. On the way up, I think. All right, well, it's clear out. It's clear. Yeah. Okay, I thought you know, and it does make the bit most sense, right? Because if you go that way, you can get to the orange gun much faster. Yep, makes sense. We'll do. We're on the same page, bud. Is it ever nice out though? It looks a little darker on my, on the stream, but uh, it's the start of a nice sunny day here. I thought there was one of those. I'm pretty sure I missed it. But there's one of these uh, snowbanks you can kind of just hop over the fence with. Not that one. Yeah, well, here's a broken part of the fence. Hey, it's magic. How's it going? I started up near uh, Skeeter's. Skeeter's for fun. And uh, it was not uh, fun. Fun. It was pretty intense. I had to throw rocks to distract wolves or else I would have been killed pretty pretty quickly right off the hop here. Now I think there's a wolf that kind of kicks it around down here, but I just wanna if I can snag a couple of uh, cattails. usually yeah, a pair over ah darn it it's usually a pair down here somewhere of cattails oh nice you must live a little further further west than me magic there because uh, the sun for me went down about mm, it's fully set by 8 o'clock here now days are getting shorter again <clears throat> it's not nice. I swear there were cattails down here. The accountant, that's what the accountant told me. Hey, it's Pike in Barsoria. We got Pike and we got Magic and now Pest. And of course me, I'm here. Well, let's see what this guy's got. I haven't taken too much damage there, eh? I've uh, managed to not get two kills. This is just a regular interloper start. I've been through the farmhouse and uh, 
had a debate and was wondering, should I go to the farm uh, looking for the stim because of the way that I play or should I go to the to signal tower and from there look for the orange gun. Those rose hips are fine, just, just fine right there. So there's nothing, there's no special challenge, it's just me starting off yet another interloper. Don't get attached. <laughs> Though, don't, don't get attached. Although, darn it, that last one, I tell ya. I just would have, just should have taken the time to make one more arrow. Was impatient and then I shot the wrong wolf I really did I shot the wrong bloody wolf oh that, that was a mean one I didn't know that it was a run ender right there that was a I think the game was really upset that it gave me that much gear and was really intent on taking it back it's like no you don't oh no you don't Oh, I'd take these guys with me if I could. I don't know why I can't just pound on the base of the thing with a heavy hammer until it breaks, but I think you end up wrecking the sapling if I did that. But that's a fun thing about the long dark. You know, you're you're looking for a bear carcass and you get killed by a wolf. You never know how you're gonna go. You know? You go outside to make some water, you get lost in a blizzard and die. It's like, how how did this unravel so quickly? I love it. I love it. You never know how the game's going to end. But it'll end. It'll eventually it comes to an end. And you got to go and collect some new stuff. One of the reasons I always liked actually playing the girl in this game as opposed to the male character is the, uh, he sounds like a 200 pound animal tromping through the woods all the time, which is actually kind of unnerving. I mean, I sound like a 200 pound animal <laughs> tromping through the woods. You know, if I wanted to hear that, I'd go for a walk. Wolves and rabbits out there. It's a full day here in Pleasant Valley. Up at the control tower area. Yeah, it's... I don't, and also the way he says things. You're right. It's like... Oh, come on, you big baby. It doesn't look like I got myself a, uh, a deer here. The, uh, the conveniently located deer are not so conveniently located. Though I did see my, uh, my pry bar, which is fantastic, really. Ta-da! Now I can punch the wolf in the face. Doesn't matter, though. They, they'll eat a hatchet, those guys. Whew. Well, I got a torch, I got matches, I got a mag lens, I got uh, a pry bar, I got a heavy hammer. If I find the saw in here, I'm so set. What have we, here? we have a ragged Mackinac jacket. Booyah. That's awesome. I haven't even checked in the actual, the big clothing room either. That's so nice. That is so nice. Coffee. We got coffee. And even up here, they will feed their dog. Okay, let's crouch down here and take a quick look. Okay. Mm, you know, 
If I was expecting to find pants under the bed, then I was just being plain greedy. Got all the gun books. Sometimes they're on top. But hey, I got a coat, so I can't really complain about that. So there will be a hacksaw, hopefully in the dam on the way through. Because I could sure use a hacksaw. Just quit breathing all over the place, bud. There it is. There's usually a flare hidden away up here too, but I think it's just behind the desk. It's some oh, some pretty intense light coming in through. Where's it coming in through? There, I guess, or something. I don't know. All I know is I cast no shadow. So that means I'm a vampire. What, there was a sort of a hardcore vegan diet out there where you only ate things that didn't cast a shadow. So I was like, so vampires? That's a tough one. It's a very tough diet. Like, I get what they're trying to do, but the light angle is it's completely wrong for what you... Anyway. Anyway. It's me just being picky. Let's get this fantastic new flashy coat on. Oh, no. Not on and off. Just on. All right. Do I have the cloth for this? I just want to throw one fix into it. Just to get it. There we are. Seven degrees. Nice and warm. Okay, quick sleep here for an hour just to get the full um, warmth up. So I got a flare. I got a torch. I got everything I need, I think. And this was a great haul. I mean, really, look at the, um, not look at the clothes. That's, that were, this was where the goodness was in that haul. I got... Poison and poison and poison and poison. Ah, oh, I don't feel like it's trying to kill me at all. Let's get going. I should have had had a drink of water there. So yeah, just uh, just relaxing up here in Pleasant Valley. And so of course I'm trying to leave because uh, if you want to have a good time in Pleasant Valley, you know where the door is. Okay, so looks like we're gonna get blizzarded again. Um, why don't I just take my time and have a drink while standing outside? Okay, so this guy will need a, a good sleep and by the time he's done this run. Just kind of want to peek down the road there, see what I got. Sometimes there's a bear coming right up here and you can't tell until you're like hanging out together well at least I got a tailwind to my destination more or less I know I shouldn't have said anything I was just doing my lean thing where I was kind of poking my head up trying to look over top of a rise. Uh, my the game's point of view really has nothing to do with my position of where I'm holding my head. To escape this cold. Oh, the wind's shifting. It's trying to figure out where I'm going so it can give me that nice headwind. But 
Damn it. Let's get our crackers while we're in the neighborhood. I'm just out of this stuff. Well, they're brand new. I don't think he ever had that stuff to begin with, but we'll let him think he just ran out. Okay, let's get going. It's a rabbit. I should kill it, but I won't. Ooh, you know what I can find up here, actually, is that, uh, <clears throat> the bedroll. That'd be nice. You gotta be careful going down this hill. I, uh, I started a Dead Man's Challenge, uh, just to play for fun. Hey, it's Cave Angel, cool! The, um, oh, wow, the big blank? So I started Dead Man's Challenge a while, while ago just to play for fun on my own. And I've been playing for about 15 minutes. And I went running down this hill. And the bear saw me. And killed me. So I am kind of cautious in that area. Because it's, uh, you know, when you're playing Dead Man's Challenge, a bear mauling really uh, kind of finishes it up. Cool. We got, you know, there's, I got six people hanging out with me right now. I can handle that. Is there a dead guy here? Yeah, there is. Well. Freezing to death won't help me out here, so let's go inside. Whew. This guy's got some great starting gear. That doesn't mean I'm gonna. I killed my last, uh, killed my last interloper there. And Cave Angel just totally came over a hill. I guess what I was doing. I was walking around with meat on me. Yeah, that's right, I was. 100% torch. Well, let's not take the time to make more. It's our first match of the game, guys. Yeah, I was carrying meat on me and uh, got myself killed. I never carry meat on me. And it, what was I was, ha I was having some serious uh, confidence-itis or whatever you call it where you're uh, completely sure you're immortal and not going to die in a game that you've died 300 times in before I don't know what causes that but I had died many times in this game and for some reason right at that moment I thought ah, I can do this no problem Yeah, and that's the thing. He did kind of, I mean, I was healthy. I got to say, I was healthy. I wasn't exhausted, really. He just, just came over the hill, and <laughs> one wolf just, yeah, right, straight up murdered me. Like, really did a great job. Whew. Scary times. <laughs> the wolf the wolf brought his A game that time, really. Yes. Oh. There's a good TLD story. One told from the wolf's perspective.
But yeah, I had I killed two bears with two arrows. It was awesome. I was doing my usual get two arrows and then think I'm invulnerable. Go out and harass all the animals. I mean, okay, granted, yes, I do harass all the animals all the time. It's like... It's not really a surprise as to why I get mauled. Because I kind of... All right, well, I guess follow the torch. Ooh, you know what might be up here, guys? That'd be really fun. There might be a deer carcass up here. Yep. Yeah, I had the orange gun on me, too. And I knew it's like, by the t <laughs> I could have had it out. That's the thing. I wasn't walking with it, you know. And that's where I really went wrong, too. Because in there I am. I'm holding. I got meat on me. And by the time I saw the wolf, I was like, I could hit my hot key. You know what I mean? You hit the hot key for your, uh, there's no deer there. Um, hit the hot key, which is unfortunate. But, uh, hit the hot key for your bow to come up. And then hit the hot key again for your gun to come up. I didn't have time for that, but if I would have had it out, like somebody who's played the game twice, oh, I tell you, could have been way better. Because I could have just shot the guy. So, oh yeah, this was a uh, Pleasant Valley spawn. Um, I started um, up near Skeeter's Ridge, and uh, I had to use a rock in dense snowfall to get the wolves not to walk right into me. Because they were kicking around, those wolves. Alright, keep running, buddy. I guess it doesn't need to keep running. Not freezing yet. My head feel thick. Yeah, just as I say that, he starts to complain about the cold. What a guy. What a guy. Yeah, the orange gun. Damn it. Yeah, that, there's that angle too. I could have been prepared. Or I could have been, you know... Like... Why I felt the need to go looking for a bear carcass while I had a rabbit on me and guts is beyond me. I don't normally would do, I wouldn't do that. I should have went right to trappers with my, my treasure. <laughs> it's a treasure. You're the lamest pirate ever. Treasure consists of a rabbit carcass and two pieces of gut. Oh, and there was a bear. I had a bear hide on me too. So I should have taken my treasure back to trappers like an organized person would. Oh, there's so much I could have done to save that run. Maybe click my mouse button a little faster, too. Uh, yeah. Yeah, too. Oh, I know. It was bad. It was bad. It was totally against my whole... Like, the way that I play versus... The, I just... You don't... I might as well have been making a how-to video. If I don't rest soon, I'm gonna faint. Well, hopefully there's a bedroll in here so that you can rest soon. Let's save it for the big reveal up here. I'm sure there's... Yeah. Exactly. What's in here? Anything? Anything at all? Am I getting nothing? Oh, okay, well we got the blue container at least. That'll come in handy. I'm sure it will. It's a book.
All right, well, you know, he's warming up in here. Let's, uh, I really like that match. It was my first one. <sighs> yeah, I didn't really get it. It's, you know, it's kind of like one of those, here's your, here's your Mackinac, kid. Be happy. Well, that didn't work. Yeah, you're right, it didn't. And there goes my torch. Okay, you know what? I tried. Let's get going. Gave it a shot. This game hates 80%. So we'll get on up to the, the dam here and... You know, you gotta leave the occasional cattail for later. Like those two, but this guy's, these guys are right on the way, so we might as well grab them. Oh. That's right. Coincidentally, exhausted, I'm coming up to the Aurora at night. What is going on? I always thought there should be a, a bed in the dam, though, at the back part. I don't know if you guys know any hydro workers, but... A bed kind of comes standard with their job. Well, I mean, think about it. How boring would your job be if you worked here? It's a hydroelectric dam. It's either working or it's not. So, one day out of 20,000 days, you're going to have one exciting day at work. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just, is this thing on? Yep. All right, then. This is the magical respawning carcass. You can't go by a measure. Yeah, that's it, right? Like, there's your exciting time is greasing some bearings on a turbine. Like, if you're lucky, you're the guy who runs the floor cleaner. That way you got to do something every day. Okay, okay, I gotta focus here and get through this. <clears throat> and it's not like the guys there. The floor is Amboni. I know it's awesome, eh? It's it's the best. There was actually, when I worked in the scrapyard, there was a Zamboni there. A floor Zamboni. Not for the floor, but for the concrete. It's a big dusty machine. It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. It just swept up everything. And that way people wouldn't get flat tires. See, that's the thing. Yeah, guys are... Yeah, there's some jobs where it's like... I mean... <laughs> The thing is, you want them there because if something goes wrong, you want somebody on hand to maybe, you know, save a few lives. But at the same time, it's like, you know, that guy's job is boring as hell. Like, there's no way. There's no way. It's, I'm stuck on a fence. Sure, we'll grab that. You know what? I have a lot of tools. A lot of tools. Yeah, I gotta get it gotta get him inside though. He's not having a good time. Oh yeah, I still can't run. 
see that little kick out thing there that it does that's actually not me getting kicked out by the structure that's me standing where i'm supposed to because i'm such a chicken that i'm pushing up against the wall real hard so that I do know of the push though. You can catch the angle just right and end up getting thrown off the side. Well, oh, somebody's calling my wife. Bet you five bucks it's her sister or her mom. How do I know this? Because this, I've had my phone on all weekend and nobody's texted me. Because the guy who normally texts me is my buddy, he's like, uh, that I play boards, board games with, he's like, I'm going, to, I'm working all weekend, so you won't hear from me. And since my wife's in the same house, nobody's texting me. Yeah, see, it's not really a kick, like, I don't do the, I, didn't, I never really got the kick out, kick out, but oh, I shouldn't be doing this. I should be, okay, look, guys, I gotta just, I just gotta get through this. We gotta go get some sleep. There's... I'm just going to ignore the dam. Nah, I'm ignoring the dam. There's tools and more whetstone and oh, it's going to be great. Backpack. I'm going to look, of course. Uh, oh, there's a bunch of things. Remember earlier today when they said, we fixed that floating arrow thing. It's like, did you? Because I caught one. I got a floating arrow. It's magnificent. Beautiful. I love a floating arrow. It's better than a disappearing arrow. Ah, uh, we've already we snagged some pot at the uh, at the farmhouse. So I, I I like to do one pot, one can. I think it's for the weight. You just don't want to be the guy out there with too much pot. That's all. Completely not where I was supposed to go. <laughs> hey, but you know what? Because I don't have a saw, I haven't forgotten any saplings, so that's good. Okay, we got it. Because it might look like it was gonna blizzard, and it might look like it was snowy out there, but I swear to God, the dam's like, oh, we've got company. Quick, put on popcorn. And let's have an aurora, shall we? Oh, sorry guys, I am slowly going to drag you through the dam. But we won't be looking at all the drawers at least. You know what, I don't think my last survivor... <clears throat> steer get through your day. I don't think my last survivor actually went to the upstairs of the dam, you know, with all those empty drawers and the... Oh, we're... Okay, we're grabbing that. There's no way around that. Come on, buddy. You literally have minutes to get out of here. Because I don't understand how to get past that one area without getting electrocuted. Always time to leave a feather for a friend. Oh. I love it on Stalker and stuff like that where the, uh, there's these, there's these uh, arrows sticking out of the steel door. Just like the guy who's got the hunting knife sticking, jammed into the steel table. It's like, if that guy didn't survive, how the hell am I supposed to survive? You can take a knife and jam it into a steel tabletop? I am... I am dead. But then I turned around and fired an arrow into a stone, what looked like a stone cliff to me, and then that arrow went right in there. And then I pulled the arrow out. So I was kind of... I think, I think that's why these survivors stick around. So you can bury an arrow in a tree and just grab onto it and pull it out without breaking it. It's amazing. Okay, here it is. 
I just need to get past this without getting electrocuted. We made it, guys. Whew. Okay. So I've really managed to beat the crap out of this dude. I think I was pretty much betting on the bedroom being where it wasn't. That's okay. They call this the boot locker. Hey, it's Steve. Not kidding. Okay, let's see. Maybe there's a saw in here. Maybe. Just maybe. We got some saw action. A hacksaw in the dam. We're a turkey. Look like it. Well, we all know what's not in the safe. Stupid safe. Hey, yes, devious. We're all just hanging out here watching me struggle slowly through the dam as I lose what's left of my condition. I gotta get to that bed. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Okay. <clears throat> That's enough flopping. I might have to drop some gear. You might have to drop some gear. You might actually have to have a nap. That's probably actually what you need. Almost should have gone for that stim, just on the basis of how I play, but I probably won't run into a wolf in this weather. It's a deer, we got some deer happening. Hey, I discovered the Carter Hydro, Hydro Dam. I've never felt so cold in my life. I was pretty sure I'd already discovered it. Don't let the game know. Well, here's the hoping I don't get killed by something that shouldn't be out and about in a blizzard. Made it. I made it. I think once I found a saw in here too, but I don't I don't think that's a regular thing, is it? Alright, well let's actually let's just let's just get some sleep. So we're gonna I don't wanna poison myself. So I'll start with of course the most poisonous potentially thing I can have. Do these, these, couple of cattails, and sleep. Uh, yeah. Whew. Man. Okay, so I beat the crap out of this guy. He does have a lot of stuff on him. Like, I did pick up a lot of crap. But, I mean, you know, his clothes are wet. Oh, let's get that on too. That's nice. Alright. Well, we got enough calories for nine hours anyway. Okay.
so hungry in my life. Well, I'll have some soup. Oh yeah, I don't think you can pull a saw out of a container. I think maybe this is just where I, on one of my tours where I found three saws. Look at how much condition I got back though. That is ridiculous. Oh my goodness, somebody fueled up the lantern before they set it down. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't think you can ever find like, a saw in a container, and I might be uh, thinking of when I dropped a couple of saws in here, and then I just get accustomed to uh, walking in and seeing a saw. Of course. Because you know how the human, human memories are so awesomely unpredictable and uh, wrong. Because that's my problem, too, is like, I'm like, I'm pretty sure I've seen that before here it's like well maybe you staged it do you ever think of that turkey the reason you saw that was you staged it oh, fuck. oh i guess so i can't believe it and i've actually found a tin i thought i was gonna have to do the tin the tin of fuel into the oh one second guys here i go just talking but other things, I'll just, I'll keep moving, but I got to do talking. No, I, we did not loot the dam, Steve. I walked through it. I'm going to go right for the orange gun. Here we go. One second, I got to talk to someone here. One sec, but I'll keep, I'll keep moving. Okay, sorry guys. I had to get some water into me too while, while I'm there. Let's see what we got here at this. Uh, huh. I mean, it warms me up, but I kind of want to save the fuel. We're not at a point where I can fish yet. Oh, my stream just died. Oh, it's back. You guys okay there? Oh, it's got, I've gotten all blocky. Okay, sorry. Just had to make sure that my stream caught up to me. I don't know if the rest... I just watched my stream die, that's all. So. Let's get over here and see if there's a rope. It's actually, it, it does, it kind of makes me, it does make me smile because it's, to me it's still the internet, this whole idea, everything about it is a new, a new technology, where it wasn't really a new technology even 20 years ago. Darn it, there is no, there is no rope. But still, we're so reliant on it that as soon as it doesn't work properly, it's like, Instantly rage inducing. As Will Farrell said, if you want to find out what kind of a person you're dealing with, give them a slow internet connection. And I think that's a very it's a very true way to look at people.
I don't. I'm not like watching. This, I I can't because it I, it'd be neat if I could just play off of what I'm seeing on the stream, but it's ten seconds behind, so probably run off bridges and such. All right. Oh yeah, there's Birch Park. That's a thing. I should be looking for that too. That might save my life. You can if you make a tea from their birch bark. Um, odd that you should ask at that particular time. Let's see if we got a Let's see if we got a rope over here. Of course, I. In the old days, I would just do this without the knowledge of a bed downstairs and just make my own. It was a, it was a tenser time. Just, you know, trying to stay over 50% is all. Uh, I don't see a rope here either. That means we have to go deep into Mystery Lake looking for a rope. Pain in the butt. Or, uh, no, I'm not going into Coastal Highway. Preston and I were talking earlier. That place is a setup. It's just a trap. What do we got out here? We mag lens this? We can. We will. So I hope everyone's got, uh, it worked. It did. I hope everyone's got work off tomorrow. Crappy, Steve. I got my lab Labor Day long weekend going here, so. Oh, it's, yes. Pretty much a day of anything but work. <laughs> a, bad, a bad day of fishing beats a good day of work, you know. Unless, of course, you fall off the boat and get eaten by a shark, then it's a close second. That didn't work. Yeah, you got this problem with 80% that I just, I just don't understand. Why you not like 80%? Hmm? Don't say anything. That always jinxes it. There we go. Let's hang out here and make some stuff. You know what I could, actually? 
I could do a little bit of streaming tomorrow. We'll see why not. We got a bunch of sticks. Let's throw a bunch of sticks on here too. So, if you guys want to uh, hang out tomorrow during the day, we can for a bit. Alright. Okay, Michael. Who, who's Tommy? Is he good? What's he do? Okay. Um, Michael, you might be interested in this. Uh, two years ago, but, um, just this last summer, of course, I went and I saw Willie Nelson. Um, the year before, I saw Justin Towns Earl, uh, Steve Earl's son. And he is... He's... Something else, man. I don't know much about guitar. Um, like as, as far as playing it goes. But uh, there's this, I guess, this Travis picking that they use. I don't know what. Uh, I guess I got a snow. I got antibiotics, don't I? Yes, yes, I found the mag lens at the farmhouse pest. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. But yeah, there's, um, there's a, there's Merle Travis. Yes, where he uses his thumb for, and then his fingers, and then his, it's just amazing. It's like, it's almost like he's got a third arm playing guitar at the exact same time. Because people will hear him, other guitar players will hear him, and go, oh no, I, I can't play that. That's a, uh, well, I mean, I could, but they're, they're like, no, I can't do that. That's a 12-string guitar. But it's not a 12-string guitar. He's playing a 6-string guitar like it's a 12-string guitar. It's just amazing. We warmed up. Let's get going. Um... Let's do a buff. And a good torch to boot. All right. Yeah, my best friend is a guitar player. Not, not professionally. He just plays guitar a lot and listens to a lot of good music. Actually, it's it's funny because his uh, every year, every year for my birthday, we get together locally with a whole bunch of friends and stuff, and and uh, drink until Seven Eleven nachos taste good. And then every year on his birthday, we take off out of town and go see a, a concert somewhere gone to see Rush a um, bunch of it's, it's just I can sit here for hours and talk about the amount of fun we've had in places with different bands and stuff like that but uh, yeah he's uh, his musical tastes have changed over the years to the point where he likes actually one second here guys I'll be right with you. I just don't want to freeze to death while I do this.
Okay, there you go, guys. <laughs> Is that even possible? I, there was one place we went to where this Taco Bell was so sketchy that they had police in it at all times. And uh, that was a pretty rough, rough time. Oh, a baseball cap. Absolutely not useful. Only useful as... But that link there is one of the bands that uh, my best friend discovered and put on a mixed disc for me. Uh, it's not really a discovery for me, it's a discovery for him. Because that's, that's my family. From back in the 70s. Yeah, you're dying from a whole bunch of things. Not just starvation, my friend. Don't sell yourself short. And it was a hat, too, right? It's a baseball hat. And check your empty metal container. And look, it's not empty, but oh, but it sure is disappointing. What the heck? Whoa! How did you die? You had a t-shirt and sardines on you. Shame on you. This is just regular interloper, Michael. I mean, I can still die live on regular interloper, but... So now we got to go into uh, Goofy uh, Mystery Lake, it looks like. That's right. He saved He saved the good can for later and, and can't even live to regret it. And then he did the classic. He walked up to the rose hips and was like, are these the ones that save you from, from the stomach problems? Watching somebody figure out the brutally non-descriptive medical system they got in this game is hilarious. Oh, they're like, wait, I need to do this to eat. What? What am I doing? And they're just wasting medicine. The treatment doesn't do anything because you didn't mentally focus the antibiotics to your whatever. That's right, there is a guy. There's a guy at the bottom, isn't there? Oh, man. The backstory on some of these people. What? I'm warm-ish, you know? I'm not, I'm not dying out here. This is crazy. I'm at 50% health. So what do you think, guys? Camp office? If I go to the camp office, I can check two bedroll spots. Let's eat this deer. Yeah, you've you've been a victim of a cave angel. You had to have, you had to have. You know it, you know it. Oh, yes. It's like the painkiller only works if you do it to your foot. That's the channel to this, but just to the pain, only to the pain. What is going on? So, oh, oh. I have to wait till this thing thaws out. Again, you cannot skin an animal with a hammer. Okay. Um, so I guess we will scooch down here by the fire. Have a little, little look-see in our inventory. So I've got a bunch of stuff. We can play some can roulette later. Croulette? Can let? Can roulette? I don't know. It's 
Gambling. Gambling. That's what I... Gambling. <laughs> so how's it going, Loons Loons? The bleeding out from parasites, it's that's pretty good too. Do I need these here? Not really. Do I need all these cans? No. Books about things I can't use. Look at me lightening up already. Yeah, I'm just dorking around. Uh, because I got tomorrow off. So, and I think we'll be yeah, cleaning out the rear end. <laughs> and th that's when they do swear. There's a few times they swear at you. We'll get rid of that. Because the can weighs something else, too. Oh. Because he just, yeah, he's not happy about it. Frozen still. Um, let's make some water. Let's make some water. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Water. Water. That's right. I'll make some water. There we go. I think I just let my fire go like a noob. Oh, not quite like a noob. Whew. Almost like a noob. Almost. Yep. When in doubt, boil snow. What do I do with myself? I'll make some snow happen into water. Okay, we've got enough time for another half kilogram here. You know what, what? You know what we will. Yeah. Ah. <clears throat> okay, I'll try that again. Got all excited. You know what I'll do tomorrow? We will start my. We'll start living in the skag. Yeah. Nobody phones me. Nobody phones my wife. So it's either her sister or her, her mom. funny it's got to the age where it's like all oh, my friends are just too busy to be wasting their time phone on me all right so let's do some more water sure oh let's when they changed it to the can and stuff when they were like here's your new cooking system I was like I'm not going on YouTube to f I'm figuring this out myself almost died Almost died. Just like this fire that I keep uh, letting go out. All right. How are you doing? Two minutes. And how many times did you remember at the? <laughs> Start when everyone kept picking up raw meat and shoving it down their gullet. <laughs> this kilogram of raw meat, and you're just gonna chew into it, and it's like, uh, if I stop it now, I'll just get ripped off the calories. Might as well go for the food poisoning. Hey. 
Hey, remember when I kept saying like a noob? I was, all right, um, we're not doing that. That's just silly. Got a book about something I don't like? I sure do. Book about handguns. Can't do a darn thing. Well, that was just dumb. Well, actually, it's kind of how I operate. It's like... So how do you get them to live 100 days? Your guess is as good as mine. Come on. Like, I knew full well. I just didn't want to pile a whole bunch of wood in there. Uh, here I am with no. That didn't work. Yeah, you know what? Didn't work. Let's do the right one. Start fire. Confirm. Yes. Give her. There were a few times when Hadrian would do things and I'd be like, oh my god. Like, I have no... I have no... Uh, there's no mystery to me. When I'm carrying two dead rabbits and I get attacked by a wolf, I'm pretty sure it's because I called them on with some dead rabbits. Yeah, there's times when Hadrian would be like, what? Why? Why are you coming after me? It's like, it's because you smell like dinner. There we go. We ate her food. I struggled through this like an idiot. Let's get some torches and get out of here. I could do a buff too, but... Actually, if I've ever met a survivor that could use a buff, it's probably this one. Yeah, it was, uh... I had a piece of rabbit I used for... Uh... Hey, let's do a coffee, too. Let's get crazy. I used a piece of rabbit for... Cooked rabbit for hunting. A little tiny piece of cooked rabbit. Fish was overwhelming because I think it has something to do with your volume of meat. If you have two kilograms of raw meat, you stink. <laughs> okay, here come the Hadrian burns. Oh, oh boy. Uh, okay, let's take this coffee for later. All right. Hey, you know what? That's a good torch. I'll grab its brother, too. I'd like to get the guts and everything, but let's go get a saw and some other equipment and, and just be be living it up in Skeg. How's that sound, guys? Let's head down to the Forlorn. So we'll use the, uh, the pest shortcut where we go to the... Um, if this breeze keeps it up for its uh, direction, wind direction, I'll be happy with that. We'll end up with a tailwind for some of us. <sighs> Indeed. Hey, you guys, how's it going? Oh, parkour deers. Yeah, let's go. Woo -wee, see, I can do parkour too. We're yeah, not friends. They don't. They don't buy it for a second. Yeah, Hadrian was. Uh, Hadrian cracked me up a lot. And I think that's why I did my worst case scenario guy, the guy who got everything except for frostbite. I think he's still alive. No, no, that guy's long dead. Oh yeah, maybe I should actually retune into Hadrian. I, I don't know. I kind of like a lot of what I do. A lot of what I do, I think, comes down to luck. Like I mean, I kind of make my own odds. But I 
The only time you could get a jump option would be during a wolf attack. You can just kind of frog leap over top of him. I think you need to lay down too. You need to lay down right now. Let's have a nap. That's what the wolf said anyway. I said, why don't you go have a nap? And I'm like, you know what? This guy's a genius. Two hour nap. Let's do it. I just hope it doesn't blizzard me in here. That's all I want. That's all I'm asking for. I think that wolf knows there was no rope in the ravine, so that's why he accosted me. He's like, you won't have the orange gun. There's no rope in there. Okay. But I got a... There was the one guy where I got... Um, what was it? I doubled down on... On... Uh, cabin Fever. I got Cabin Fever back-to-back -back just to show that... It's not so bad, guys. You can survive with cabin fever. I'm just going to run. And that way, if he does see me and come after me, he's over there as opposed to in front of me. Huh. It's nice out again. What's with this weather? I'll take early interloper weather. Sure. So, hacksaw, guys. Where am I going to find a hacksaw? Um... Trappers, I guess. And where's another spot in Mystery Lake? It wasn't in the usual spot. Yeah, that's the thing. There's, there's guys who don't take themselves that seriously. That's the fun guy to watch. And man, you just gotta, you gotta, just gotta respect the long dark, man, because it'll kill you instantly, like it did to me earlier. Because I was captain. I oh, I have, I have two, two arrows. Overlook. Yeah, actually, sometimes it does, doesn't it? Shows up up there with the dead guy. I really wish I had it now as opposed to the hammer, because I could have just totally gotten all my saplings. Hmm. Pain in the butt. I mean, bet you missed it, Loon's Loon. Um, I got, I made two arrows, and then instantly became the Terminator. Uh, went out and shot me some bears, and then got killed uh, by a wolf while looking for. Oh, 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 guys, guys! There's a rabbit being eaten down here. The rabbit's not happy about it, but I sure am. Just off over to my left here. Your timing was perfect, Mr. Wolf. There you are. So a whole lot of nothing going on in this particular hunting blind. All right, we'll let him let him deal with his meal. Mm, yeah, look how tower might. Although that's a good place for a hammer. Deer's like, oh, that's better you than me. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have to remember one of my survivors has a... Who is it? I can't remember 
which one. One of them has got a, an arrow up here, right in this spot. I can hear the bear. Better save that last little bit of uh, of uh, stamina there for. Holy. Oh, I hope my wrist is you know what you don't need is a wrist. You're not in a position to worry about your wrists, sir. But like I was saying, I need to save that last little bit of stamina for running. Running away, running away from the bear that's going to be in my way right up here. Oh, save it, save it. Didn't I cook a coffee? It won't be, it, it was, it'll be long cold, but. There you have it, bud. See? You might be hurt, but at least now you're awake to enjoy it. I swear, I heard a bear. It would just suck if he was on his return circuit, that's all. No wonder he's grumpy, though. Even when he's sleeping, he's got those bloody crows over him just making a ruckus. Come on, bedroll. No. Okay. You know, not finding the bedroll is okay because it just eliminates a place, you know, where it could be sort of thing, so... There's a wolf in my way. Don't think the bear is here. I thought I thought I heard him though. Cool. We'll get to the camp office, no problem. This whole in pain walking around in the mists has got this whole nice surreal the classic golden era of films look to it just one second guys I'll be just one second I gotta turn the mic off Um, oh, uh, yeah, the, uh, the bear crows, they've been, they've been around as long as I can remember. I actually remember one time I quit a game because I could hear the bear crows, but I couldn't see them. And then I refused to go back outside and ran out of food and was like, oh, okay, a new game. I've come a long way since how I first started dealing with, uh, predators All right, let's hope there's a big, fat, simple parka in this, or even a ski jacket, or something. The bear crows, they kind of got that. It, it, it almost sounds like the crows are pissed.
And they've got a very deep, very deep caw to them. Whereas the regular crows are just kind of, although I've got these pine trees right outside. Oops. I got these pine, pine trees right outside my window. So when I'm playing and the windows open, I can hear crows and I'll keep, it's the worst because I'll think that there's a carcass or let's spend the night here. I'll think there's a carcass or something to my left and I'll keep turning, just keep turning to the left, looking for the crows and the crows are actually, oh yes, let's go Campbellin. Cause I've got, uh, don't have, yes, I do have Rishi tea. All right, let's start. Let's go. Let's start on the low end with the dog food. No, no, survive that. And if you can spend time with wild crows, they will actually develop a relationship with you. They're, they're a pretty neat bird. Pretty smart little animal. I love crows. They're pretty, pretty cool. I I don't know if any of you guys saw that study on the crow where they had the guy with the mask and uh, he would do things like take their food away and stuff. Yeah, he would just be a jerk with this mask on and then they let them into the wild and when they caught up to that crow which had gotten into I love how they're called murders but it had gotten into its own little flock its own murder and it somehow had communicated to them the man in the mask is not good we need to watch this guy I was just like what? What? Really? That's awesome. I mean, I'm sorry though. Wait, wait for it. Because sometimes he likes to appear suddenly. It's like, how did you miss the 500 pounds of fun in the middle of the ice? <clears throat> yeah, if you had a pet crow, how could you not want to show him off? That would just be so awesome. I had a parrot for a few years. And, like, I honestly don't think he wanted to be my pet. <laughs> Wasn't anything personal. It's just he was a wild animal. And all right. I don't, ever since Loon's Loon got into the fight with right here, I don't trust this hill like I used to. And we do, we do have actually, I do have a hawk that lives on my property here. And he hasn't eaten any of my cats, so he still gets a pass. Although on average, the animals that they catch and eat don't weigh 16 pounds like my cats do. I don't. This, the thing is with a parrot, if you can love your parrot from the moment he wakes up in the morning to the moment he goes to sleep, you know, you've got a bird that's 
they're awesome. I mean, they're awesome. I've loved, I loved my parrot, but I don't think he really wanted to be here. Because if he wanted, like, I, I don't think he'd get the right amount of attention. He just, he couldn't. But he wasn't stressed. Because, you know, they'll chew their feathers and stuff if they get stressed. And he was happy, but he was just so loud. <laughs> exactly. Actually, when Lose Limbs there, when 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 he said that, oh, a nice night for a walk. Oh man, nice night for a walk. And I just, I had you have to think of the Terminator when you hear that, right? Well, there's some parrots that are entertained by the other parrot in the mirror. And then there are some parrots that look at the mirror and go, oh, that's me, is it? Oh. And then they don't interact with the mirror like they would. They, they fully understand that that is their reflection. Kind of neat. Self-aware animal. night for a walk it's like your clothes give them to me all right well we've got the full compliment now guys we got tea we got coffee we got guys oh 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 what's this we got a can of beans I better take this food dusty pork and beans I'll take it for sure. have a moment of silence for these weird matches. What are they doing there? That's just weird. Is doing there. That's, I mean, the bedroll, that's supposed to be there, but the matches, I don't know what. Just shelf matches? It's to make up for not having a mag lens in this joint or something. crap do I have on me? I got a lot. I've been collecting a lot of stuff. So let's... Yeah, like there's that one a potential match spawn in the trailer? What? Why? Why is that there? It's 
Should pick up the baseball cap then. As much as cloth. Okay, we got ten pieces of cloth on us too. Okay, good. Good. Alright. Let's grab that book. You seemed like you were gonna start something there, Pike Henry, but then you didn't. You didn't finish. Four pieces. Okay. Okay. A lot of food. That's good. We're wearing all that. Okay, that's a lot of wood. Painkillers. Yes. Our uh, PV um, up by Skeeter's Ridge. It's actually, I hope it got recorded because the, the first part, I was pretty much blind and uh, had to use rocks to get past wolves again. It's like my regular start, I guess. There's usually never matches in that office. the stick that broke the camel's back right there. Like, give me how many, probably between everybody watching this channel, there's been over a thousand uh, start, starting visits, maybe 2,000 starting visits to the uh, camp office, and uh, I don't see the Maybe, yeah, some sort of just random do we or don't we. When you open the door, this will randomly be scattered and it gets a one in 100 chance sort of thing. Because you never see that. Yeah, the dam trailer. Um, not the one with the beds, loons, loons, but uh, the one across from it. Yep, that's... I'm like, I guess if I need to find my hacksaw, we can just keep walking in a straight line. We'll find it eventually. I got a bedroll now. We can go. I got a bunch of scrap metal now. So even if we don't find it, I've got enough for at least the tools with the stuff I have on me. Yeah, right by the door. There's that little, that little crate sitting right beside the door. I'm not sure I can carry much. Music. I looked in there once. And, yeah, maybe you should pick up a rock, though, regardless of whether or not you feel you can carry more. Yeah, you looked in that little crate one time, and there was just a pack of matches sitting there. And it's like, what? So let's just go need to find clunkily to to forge. It makes no sense. I have no hacksaw. 
You grab no guts for curing. Doing this completely backwards. Like, I might as well just make the hatchet and then go right to HRV for reasons. Like... Like, I honestly, I... <laughs> I don't even go into that trailer very often. So then the one time I do and there's matches, it's like... Of course. Just to make me go in there again. Tails can stay there because we're freezing. Let's go get a mag lens fire on the go. It seems that way that it's like it's almost put there to make you look there. Okay. You know, a catch like that will just make me paranoid. This is my bear hunting tree. When the bear would come out from back there, I would climb up here and shoot him. One of my favorite spots to get a bear. That's well, definitely got all the flares I need, I think. This is my third wool sweater. Yeah, put that toque on in a second. It's nice. Come on. One second, you guys. It worked. Oh, back on? Okay. There we go. Oh, yeah, that probably, that, uh, that warm wool sweater is probably like a, a piece of cardboard. Oh, new location discovered, guys. Let's, whoop, whoop, nope, nope, we're not going to do anything of the sort. Just right down there. Eat a cattail or two just to get a little bit of health back. Not actually for health, but just so when I'm sleeping, I'm not hurting myself. Eight degrees. Mm, let's throw a couple of sticks on them. Right, so sleep for an hour. That'll warm them up and we can get. Oh, yes. Yes, it was. Camp office upstairs. Because once it blanked in the, uh, blanked in the, um, what should we call it, the, uh, the hunter's blind, and then again at the uh, fishing hut, and it's 
kind of did that through process of elimination. It had to be sort of up there. Shirt, uh, yeah, you can come with. It's always good to have extra coal there. So we've got all the stuff we need for all our tools and some arrowheads. We've got the food we need to make it through some time there. We'll hit the high blind and on our way to the uh, dispenses. We'll leave the cattails as is. Got lots of food. We can collect them on the way out. So you guys flying by to tell me it's about to get less foggy? Probably not. All right. So the bedroll was only at 50%, so I got to be careful with it. Keep an eye on it. Until I get a couple of bears down. So right up here ahead of me on this island <clears throat> with the rose hips right here. This is where you can also find a, a rifle on the lower settings in case you're looking. I had a stalker run set up where I had a rifle and ammunition on every map. One for each. That included the transition zones too, so. Yeah, the having things, you know, because this is, I'm not really a guy who does loot tables, right? I don't really know the loot tables, but I just know that if I find a hammer in one spot, I'm probably going to find a hacksaw different spot, right? Well, obviously. Uh, but, I mean, you, you kind of you start to get to know where things land, regardless of the different loot tables. That hat, on the other hand, is probably frozen. No, it is not frozen. It is just not very good right now. So we won't put it on. We won't. Let's see, hopefully I brought more than one torch. Okay, some more matches. What the heck? I was kind of hoping for a hacksaw there. Because then, of course, this means... Well, sometimes the hacksaw is just sitting on the workbench. Conveniently located. But sometimes it's over in those... Those... That burnt out little village over there. Yeah, I don't like it when the wolves do new new and exciting things. It's terrifying. It usually gets me killed. You know when the when they introduced the Aurora Wolf. Of course I got eaten by a couple of those. Hey Yari, good morning to ya. We got our garage full now, guys. Gotta get Travis in on one of these. I hope uh I haven't seen him slip gear around for a while either. I hope he's doing okay. He or she, I don't you don't know, right? But I hope slip gear's doing alright. It's 
funny. It was actually, this is where I started earlier today with somebody, right before they got eaten. Oh, there's that sapling over there I can't get. Well, looks like we got company at least over here. Not very talkative, but it's company all the same. Yeah, 40% for a torch is pretty nice. that or else you get another set of options right now So we got, looks like a, a deer carcass out there. Uh, bunch of stuff. We can go check on my pile of coal over here, see what we got. It looks like, like from here, there's not a lot of wolves kicking around. Is the backpack over there? No. I don't know if they moved it or got rid of it, but there would sometimes there would be an empty backpack right there. Seems like something is sapping my energy. I don't think I'm gonna make it to the shack with this last torch, but we picked up lots of matches, so. Alright, how about some combat pants? It was worth an ask. Yes, definitely non player. Can you waddle yourself over to the fire fast enough? I don't think so. I'll give it a shot real quick here. Let's see what we can do. It might have worked. It might have worked. It probably won't. Because it doesn't like an 80% chance. The chances of it liking a 60% chance. Oh, well, what do you know? It did, actually, for a change. I know, right? Like, I couldn't have stretched it in another half second. You know you get a lot of stuff on you when your run looks like a quick walk. All right, let's see what all, all we've got here. Here's my simple parka. What have we here? It's a 
pry bar. Oh, did it? Took a match? Did it? Darn. I thought I made it. I thought I pulled it off. Well, there's my hacksaw I was looking for. Some gloves. So I basically let the torch go out and then started this fire over there. I'm not the best use of my time. Yeah, actually, I'm doing okay. Doing okay for matches. Let's let's just light this fire. This is part of the reason why he's so heavy. You think it want to use from the bottom up on tools, like for for just how it would work, right? All right, let's let's drop our metal here. What do we got? Ten pieces. So without chopping down a single thing, I've just picked up ten pieces of scrap. So that's enough for four arrowheads and. And I brought both of these to break down. So that's another six pieces of scrap. So that's, I, I've got all the arrowheads now. What day is this? Let's see here. Let's run back inside real quick. He's exhausted. His timing's good on that at least. Okay, we'll do some inventory stuff and some journal stuff here. Yeah. Some stuff. Have a little sleep. Man. Little sleep. All right, day. All right, so, so I've survived three days. So day four, technically on the calendar, three days under the belt. Yeah, you're right. It is true. You use your worst arrow, but your best bow. So there was some thinking about how they were going to manage that. And I wonder why they came to that conclusion. Same as I wonder why they had to turn all the bars, like the progress wheels, from clockwise to counterclockwise. I don't understand what the... You know, what was somebody losing sleep over with that one? Oh, I thought I, I got a lot of food, but it's not really good food. Let's have a quick sleep here. All right. So what do we got there? 32 degrees. Sir. Just to forty one, yeah. Forty seven and Five coal right now. That takes it up to where it needs to be. Perfect. Okay, we're good to go, guys. Let's go and uh, I guess do the safe. Grab our dog food and do the safe. 
can always use more food. New dog food. Well, I guess they really haven't had time to go bad, have they? But I have picked up rusty stuff, so. And we won't be working on the well-fed bonus right away. Yep, sorry, the uh, counterclockwise progression was, was, was too important. We couldn't leave that alone. This is sort of a strange decision to make, you know? Wait, is it? Lose Loon, didn't you get four, five, six as a, as a, as a, as a lock combo? Is it you? Oh, right out of space balls, anyway. Fifty something, right? D. There we go, and then right around the twenty mark, I think, somewhere in there. There we are. Like I, I keep saying. The, the story mode for this game is like the, the the toy in the box. And all the kids just went and played in the bloody box and ignored the toy. Where is this mythical final... Yeah, okay. Really? All right. Ah, new jeans. It is. It's just like Christmas. Jeans and some cash. <laughs> exactly. But, I mean, if you've got kids, you know what it's like. You buy them something and they just play with a box for hours. Okay, so we got dog food, we got lots of food, and a new pair of, of pants and a coat and a, put it on at least. There we go, now he looks nice and well outfitted. Okay, I guess uh, we'll have a little nap and then do some foraging. Sure, dog food. Yeah, toddlers are cats. That's exactly. Horse. Horses like cattail stocks. Maybe you could eat one of those. Crazy right now. I do have a comment for that, for that, but uh, we'll just let it go. <laughs> Good old stare toboggan. We'll take that, we'll harvest it. You could eat anything. You could eat anything. In one hour you get three pieces of scrap. That's a that's a good deal. 
Okay, so we still have <clears throat> still have hours on that, but uh, we'll need to add some. Gonna gamble with the eighty nine percent sardines. He'll be thirsty when he's done this one, but I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Oh, angry squirrel. All right, let's, uh, we'll make up some water. Drop some dinner. All the vagrants passing through Great Bear Island. It's like, how did you guys even get out here? Right, how much time do I have on this? Okay, enough time for an arrowhead. Of water, I think we're I think we're pretty good here. Uh, Yourself with some beans. I just need to close my eyes. Guy wants a nap every twenty minutes. So this poor guy. Right. So let's see what I came up with here. Actually, let's look in the inventory real quick. What we'll do two sets of arrows. Because it had milk with it, Loon's Loon. That's how you were able to eat that for breakfast. I'm amazed that the actual cereals allowed. It's like, this is a breakfast thing. It's like, what? So we got eight arrowheads. We got our knife. We got our hatchet. So that's pretty good. Good enough to make uh, another four if I wanted to. Definitely going to make another two. Kids were moving out basically. All right, well, what do we have for time in the day? Ah, we'll have to do an overnight here. We will. Just will have to. Hey, look, it's a book. Well, way down right here if I thought I'd ever wake up again. We'll do some more food gambling. This is where the real, this is where the real risk comes in. Really, nothing on the death fish. That's pretty amazing.
All right, Magic. Good to see you. If you, I'll see you later if you if you get time. All right, what do we get for time on this fire here? Not the most organized uh, run at the old forge here, but uh, we got we got things done, I think. Got things done. I want to wreck that. It's got yeah. Okay. Better check on the fire first. All right. I do want to leave. At least five here so if I ever do need to come back and forge I can the hammer will stay as well let's get this <laughs> yeah it's actually kind of funny we were we were talking about loons loons and actually for once not in a bad way hey bud oh that's funny Night, Loons Loons. Have a good one. Ah, oh, you don't get tomorrow off? Oh, boy. That's why I'm still awake right now, as I get tomorrow off, so. I am gonna. I am gonna take off here as soon as we get out of the out of the uh, furnace area. And uh, I gotta go watch a relentless night. Yeah, we'll save that for emergencies. We got some torches to break down. Yeah, you guys will be getting hit with just the kind of the edge of that hurricane too, won't you, Michael? Because it's supposed to be what Carolina that gets it really bad, and Dude. and then sort of everybody around it gets it nasty. Yeah, I gotta watch that because of, I mean, it looks so good. All right, Captain Hunger here. And, oh, we got an Aurora. That's nice. I'll drop the, these guys for the warmth buff on our way out. We'll eat the dog food, and uh, then we'll be out of food pretty much. <clears throat> really good like a great movie just a great movie I'll throw this on the ground too it's good to have a copy all right so these guys will be good in the morning it gets me eight hours of sleep good stuff Yeah, yeah, category five too. Does not look like anybody's gonna have a good time with that. There we are, guys. We're 
pretty much I've survived four days, 22 hours. I've got my foraging done. Uh, we're still going to sleep a little bit longer. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't running out of fire time. Not a lot of wolves out in this end of the, the world, but... That's got to be decent. You wake up and you're at work. I'm going to drive a few minutes myself, but... Uh-oh. Don't let the fire go out. I didn't think it was going to. I guess we're on our way, guys. Yeah, I thought I had more than two hours. Okay. Oh, I went and I slept for three. That's why. Three is more than two. Just, just so you know. Not coming with. All right. Now we're light as a feather, guys. Got a pair of jeans and some cash in the old uh, safe, just like Christmas. And uh, now we're on our way. So this is okay. We'll grab a few. We'll grab a few items on the way out. So yeah, I forged on day four. Totally, which is great, but I have no guts. I have no uh, hides curing. Really nothing. So we'll get to Trappers and I'll call it an episode and we'll see you later. But that's at Trappers if I get there first, right? Oh yeah, I'm not going to not going to Broken Railroad again. That place is deadly. Yeah, Loons Loons just put out a, a new video too, so that's nice. Oh, here's a sec, guys. Mrs. 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 Turkey's team is, is uh, off to bed, so. Do I go after? No, let's not go up to the whole hollow tree. I've got all this. I've got some nice stuff. All I need to do is get to trappers and then fix up my clothing. All right, there's that wolf. Hopefully he doesn't see me before I get to this sapling. Whew. Does anyone else get killed a lot in Mystery Lake? I swear to God it's a confidence thing. I don't get lost and die in Mystery Lake. I always get cornered and killed in Mystery Lake. Actually, I'm glad uh, everyone's still watching me um, after my last Outer Loper debacle there. Surprised I didn't lose like 30 subscribers. That was, that was embarrassing. Two days. Like, I try to bring you guys more than one, more than one episode per series, you know?
And he's hungry. Cold is making my head feel thick. Uh oh. He's got the head thickening going on. Actually, with a really severe cold. Oh, that made me snort, that's for sure. Ah, uh, yeah, the, um, the bow confidence will give you, give you some, uh, some good get me murdered opportunities as well. I really wish I could see if, from here, if that snow shelter was there, you know? Because it's almost worth investigating. Yeah, buddy's gonna have to get hungry. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love, love the uh, well fed bonus. But uh, he's not going to be able to afford it right now. So I'm wondering though. HR. Oh, my phone's down. HRV for the combat pants. So we'll go to Trappers. I'll get everything fixed up. But then tomorrow, instead of me. Instead of me continuing this guy tomorrow, we'll do it, uh... Exactly. Get yourself attacked while your protection is still at 12% or whatever. It, 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 it makes a huge difference. I'm not exactly sure how they do the math on that, but it does make a difference. I was going to go over to see if there was a... No shelter over there, but that looks like. Does that look like wolves to you? You don't. They're not walking. Or are they? Are this, is that wolves? Am I? I hate to hide from tree stumps. It wouldn't be the first time I've ever run away from a tree stump in this game. I didn't need to eat soon. It's tree stumps. I thought it was wolves. That's a killer wind. The ones with the little little bits on top like that that look like ears. Oh. Yep. Problem behind this rock. I know there's at least two here. We just saw them earlier today. So no backpack this time. And no oh, yep, there it is. Let's see if I can warm up in here. We got another toque. Some food. We'll hop in here. Use, yep, use. And we're warming up. I should have crouched before I got in here. I think that helps you. But, uh... Am I going to get woken up by a wolf attack? Let's see. I've got a hatchet at least. 
we're crouched now. Try this again, we're crouched. Yep, use. Ah, <sighs> much better. All right, let's have a little something to eat, though. Yep, here comes the blizzard. Yeah. We'll try walking. That'll probably move things along a little faster. I'd love to grab Rishis and stuff, but I got this thing where we got a blizzard coming. All right, I got to stop this running blindly uphill too. Yeah, if we got a blizzard coming, guys. We do, probably because I, I stepped through was like one of those Indiana Jones uh, pressure pads, and I stepped on it as soon as I got into that uh, into that snow shelter. Uh oh, here it comes. Yep, Michael called it. Yeah, nice and comfortable. You're warming up. We better kill you. Draft Dodger's cabin pest. I don't know if you saw that. Um, it went from minus two to minus one. I've never seen a building uh, change its temperature in relation to the outside temperature. I didn't know that was a thing. Yep, it hit the weather machine trigger. So I was watching some green hell, and uh, my eyes were going all hinky because it's it's green. It's very green. There's a lot of green, and if it's not green, it's olive green or a brownie green. A lot of crafting going on in that game, though, eh? Like, it is a crafting survival game. Because people ask, people will ask me about this game. They're like, well, what do you do? Do you build your own shelter? It's like, yeah, you can, but you don't want to. Because the shelter you build in this game is poopy. Oh good, I got a tailwind all the way to, all the way to trappers, a tailwind. I need to find food. Yeah, it's all green. I don't I mean, I guess you get a really good lesson on uh, jungle botany. You'd be, you'd be able to tell, uh, yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's all crafting. I mean, it's a good skill to, to rely on and stuff. It makes sense. Humans have relied on their ability to craft things for a long time, but, uh, the pilot, like, it seems it would get, like, it gets pretty grindy in this game with the collection of the sticks. And you're just going to set those things on fire anyway. Yeah, there's a piece of coal, but I was kind of looking around for my birch bark. I haven't had to use any, but, you know, just whatever. Maybe if I could find some, that would be nice. Yeah. 
ancestors. That has popped up on my YouTube feed. Right. Stranded Deep. I love that game, but... Well, I loved watching that game, but when I watched it, I was like, wow, this is really neat. And then I saw this game and was like, oh, okay. This is what I'm looking for. Stranded Deep was neat, but... Uh, oh, there's my bear. If only I had something I could shoot him with. It'll just get me in trouble anyway. Yeah, Paul Soares is actually the reason I watched... See, I was always like, why would you ever watch video games on YouTube? I don't, never understood that. So I was always watching documentaries and stuff. Something's gotta go. And then I started to get into, uh, you know, log cabin building and all sorts of things like that for documentaries. And then I just saw a thumbnail of Stranded Deep. And I was like, well, that kind of looks like a neat game. And it was Paul Soros, and uh, this is years ago. And then, of course, I watched his Stranded Deep, and then was like, neat. What else is this guy playing? And he was playing this game. Back when the wolves looked like Doberman pincers, you know? <clears throat> that was pretty cool. So... Balsora has got me into this game by introducing me to it, and then the rest is just history. Although I would have, I would have loved to have gotten some of those early, early attempts. You guys would have laughed so hard. I don't know if you guys would have laughed uh, more at the uh, horrible gameplay or the rage quitting. That went along with this game a lot. It's a lot of rage quitting the first few times through this game. He's just guy, he's so upbeat. I okay, so we got a I got a carcass there, I got two rabbits here. I think we're set. <sighs> okay, let's search this place and call it a night. I gotta go watch Loon's Loon. <laughs> Maybe I can learn something. <laughs> like how not to die. Oh, well, you know, we're getting peaches. We're getting uh, peaches. So again, there was no hacksaw. I had to go to Bloody Forlorn Muskeg, and I bet you it's up in the tower. Oh, well, hey, thanks for watching, Yari. Thanks a lot, buddy. Thanks, everyone, for watching, really. Holy magnifying glasses. This is my second one. So we got a book over here, too. New thought. Oh, and if you want to get the achievement for, it's not read all of the books, it's read each of the books. Let's check this out here. So you don't have to read all three of the archery books. You just need to read the archery book and now, and then all the, like one of each. Don't, like if you want I'm thinking maybe um, Tower or Unnamed Pond for the saw. But I'm hoping it's not the Unnamed Pond. Well, I haven't checked the Overlook either. But uh, Fire Striker, that's what I'm hoping to find at the uh, Unnamed Pond. Excellent. Soda and jeans. Jeez. These guys out here, they really love their jeans. Decent jeans, decent jeans. Which is the, okay, these will be the better one to switch out. Well, we've got all the nice toques. So, so I got some stuff I can, I can, uh, I got, I can sew up here. I can fix my stuff. 
we're okay. So safe and sound with a whole bunch of stuff. So I can get, uh, I don't know, I get that carcass in here and uh, the rabbits. But uh, maybe even snag the other two rabbits. Uh, I don't know. Point is, I need guts curing. So. All right, well, that looks like they've searched. Man. Everyone used to come into this place and it was just so full of stuff before that we started playing an interloper. All right, uh, we'll have a quick nap to save it. And then I'll go out and start killing some, some animals uh, later. So, so tomorrow we'll start off with my living in forlorn muskeg for a couple hours and then maybe get back to this guy or something for some, uh, some more fun so I gotta say though in and out of uh, five days in and I've got all my stuff uh, forged up that's I'm happy with that ten arrowheads is pretty good I used to go with uh, six to eight so ten is fantastic I've got got a lot of clothes to fix um, clothes to tear down so this guy's going to be busy. But yeah, thank you guys for showing up at my garage party, Pest. It's awesome. Wouldn't be a party without you guys, that's for sure. I love it. Good times. So we got, can break that down for leather. Uh, anyway, we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. I'll probably, uh, probably start around 10.30. Uh, in the forlorn muskeg runs and we'll start off uh, fresh and uh, yeah thanks guys thanks cave angel pike past michael everyone you guys are awesome yari and uh, i hope dave's having fun on his vacation and i hope slip gear wherever he is doing okay you know anyway guys thanks a lot we'll see you tomorrow rock on All right.